films of Ready or not, here I come! You know, in the films of Walt Disney and the films of Pixar, you see a similar quality of always striving for some new technological innovation. Who cares about the company? What about us? And that's certainly the case in Monsters Incorporated. Man. That's right, baby. Uh -huh. In every story that we create at Pixar, there is something in the story that is something we don't know how to do. I love working with that big guy. We don't want to just repeat ourselves. We want to, you know, push the envelope technically. So whenever they say, I'm not sure exactly how we're going to do that, I'm thinking now, I've gotten used to the fact that we're probably going to figure it out in a couple of days. <laughs> you hear that? It's the winds of change. This film's always been a film about a uh, big hairy monster. You're the boss, you're the boss, you're the big hairy boss. And that, of course, got everybody very worried initially because fur, in general, is one of the hardest things to do in computer graphics. Wouldn't it be easier if it all just blew away? Sullivan is in about 600 shots in the film. On a big furry, eight foot tall monster, you need to have about three million hairs. Is that a joke? Tell me, you're joking. Can you imagine if, like, you had an animator who had to go through and animate every single hair? That would just... It just drive them insane, basically. All our animators would quit. That's it. I'm out of ideas. We're closed. We had to figure out a way for that hair to move automatically. And that's the genius. We engineered a whole dynamic system that basically let the animators not have to worry about that at all. Our animators just move the character. And then computationally, all the fur figures out how to move itself. And that allows us to achieve a level of visual complexity that we never could without this dynamic, intelligent fur. Somebody's got to take care of you, you big hairball. So he'll do this movement. And the fur is aware of gravity and some sort of wind resistance. And it responds appropriately and it's sort of magical that was an impressive display no oh, just doing my job it ripples it moves it, it, it it's like each hair moves individually it looks like cashmere blows in the breeze when he moves i mean and that's incredibly hard to do and uh, the same thing is true of cloth no, no, I was no one. Hmm. when i move my arm this is very sophisticated bending and folding of that cloth. It's just completely random, and, and, it, and it moves, you know, all over the place. Don't panic. Tell me not to panic. Just panic. It's not okay. It's not okay. So we came up with a dynamic system, just like the hair that deals with the cloth. This is perfect. <laughs> the animators could just have Boo run around and be cute. And after the animation was done, we would apply this automated animation to her T-shirt that would figure out how everything should move and fold. The software that we're using is simulating the basic laws of physics, such as the bending and the stretching and the shear and that kind of thing. The nightmare is over! The dynamics puts us into a whole different realm where you're not asking an animator to create motion, but now we're asking a computer program to create motion. And so the cloth moves by itself, the fur moves by itself, and this is where we put a tremendous amount of energy. What a plan! Simple, yet insane! The door vault is pretty amazing at Monsters, Inc. It's got something like 23 million closet doors stored in it. Whoa! Oh boy. We literally had to figure out how to draw millions of doors, and this seemed like a total impossibility. Nobody thought we could really do that. Your stunned silence is very reassuring. The way we do it is sort of a trick. We draw what you could think of as a little cardboard of paper, and the renderer thinks about it as a little piece of paper, and so it's very efficient to render, but it tends to look from medium to far distances just like a real door. I still don't understand. Basically what I did was uh, create a, a sort of program that figured out exactly how the door should move. Oh. If the door is going around a curve, then it needs to swing out to approximate that centrifugal force. Somebody's certainly been a busy bee. There's this really nice organic um, quality to it. It looks almost like a traffic jam in San Francisco. It's true! I saw the whole thing! It's amazing what they can do with technology these days. These guys are geniuses. I mean, they know how to do it. I'm amazed. I'm, I'm really amazed. It's a phenomenal production that dwarfs anything I've ever seen in the computer animated world. Oh, I don't believe it! I'm not even breaking a sweat. Well done. <laughs>